Welcome to the Digital Production Buzz at the 2015 NAB Show. Hi, this is Larry Jordan, and this interview was recorded live on the trade show floor. For more information, visit digitalproductionbuzz.com. You know, there just isn't enough time to get stuff organized around here. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Connolly is a filmmaker. He's host of Film Riot, founded of, founder of Triune Films. Brews coffee, slices bread, has a following on social media of 7.8 million people and answers every person's email personally. It's just the, the work that you do in this industry is incredible. And if I'm exaggerating even a small bit, I'm sure it's completely unintentional. <laughs> Welcome, by the way. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Tell me what Film Riot is. Uh, Film Riot is a re weekly filmmaking show, sort of how-to, uh, but I think the real heart behind it is the idea of following our career path from start to finish. We started it when we were still pretty inexperienced. I was doing pro, pro work at the time, but uh, we were still trying to break in, still trying to do the short film thing, still uh, learning a lot, and it's been you know, about sort of tracking that progress to hopefully be you know, inspiration for uh, younger filmmakers or newer filmmakers that are just starting out to see, you know, everyone start somewhere and we build from that. So it's this idea of just, you know, following us through our progression through the career. Uh, now we're getting less, it started very DIY backyard type filmmaking. Now we're sort of breaking out of that and getting into much more high-end type Hollywood style filmmaking, but still keeping one foot planted in the DIY. So it's the idea of showing you how you would do it with a budget, like Hollywood does it, and then also showing you how you would do that exact same thing for zero budget. So it's really about finding those creative ways to tell your story. You know, that's a really fine line to walk because the reason you got started is to help beginners get into the industry. Yeah, absolutely. And that at some point, you start learning, and then you advance, and then a beginner can't keep up anymore. It's, well, it's, it seems to me a balance. How do you keep bringing it, newbies it in and not let the guys with some experience feel left out? Yeah, it is. It's definitely a balance. And, uh, you know, I think uh, one of the biggest problems is, is because everything's far more accessible now, um, people see the, the higher-end techniques as something that's unobtainable, and that's not true. You know, it's like when I was really young, uh, there was a show on the Discovery Channel called uh, Movie Magic, mm -hmm. and this was like full-on Hollywood. Independence Day was one of the ones. <laughs> and this is what inspired me, and I watched their techniques, and I'm like, okay, how can I take that and, and use it right now? And that's really the, you know, the idea that we're sort of showing is that even now at the higher-end level, you know, multi-million dollar films that some of my friends are making, they're essentially doing the exact same thing I'm doing. They just have some better gear, they have more people, but all the techniques that go into it, the idea behind telling your story, moving your camera, pacing, all this stuff, is the exact same thing. Plus, we have all these DIY videos, and we're going to continue to do these DIY videos. We do two episodes a week, and uh, we're always juggling between the higher end and, you know, the backyard. You know, we <laughs> shot this in my house with zero money and just family and friends. We're always flipping between those. Um, but the idea is to look at both of these things, because you need both of these things. The DIY shows you what you could do right this very second. And uh, the higher end stuff is, you know, these are things that you need to learn once you get on set. So the idea is even if you can't get your hand on a, hands on a red camera and an HMI and this full crew right now, if your passion is film at some point, that's where you're going to be at. And, uh, you know, hopefully the show will help you once you step on set to know the lingo, to know the gear, and be able to just be off and running with it. Are you finding yourself spending more time training and bringing and mentoring, I guess is the best way to put it, or creating your own films? It's really 50-50. Um, I've, I've grown to really adore that uh, connection with our audience and, you know, critiquing other people's work and, and them critiquing mine. We put our stuff out there, you know, on YouTube, and there's just, you know, that comment section that we get to go through. <laughs> and, you know, people picking out things of, oh, you know, didn't like this, didn't like that. Um, People and that's don't really like helpful. some of the stuff that and you... And how dare they? <laughs> 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 but that's really helpful stuff, you know, because you're getting that constant... Uh, immediate feedback and you know you whittle through you can't make everyone happy some people just aren't going to like it because it's not their thing um, but it's pretty it's usually pretty easy to tell when it's good constructive criticism that you take to heart and you're like you know they got a good point there um, so it helps us learn too so it's this great back and forth relationship that's gone on so it's it's pretty 50 50 uh, throughout the day i'm just constantly trying to keep up with it so it doesn't get ahead of me and uh we're you know uh, just constantly working on whatever the next thing is, you know. Mm. We drop, we have our motto: write, shoot, edit, repeat. And I pretty much live by <laughs> it. The second we we edit and release something, I'm 
what's the next thing? Well, it, for me, it sounds like you're most interested in the process. Mm -hmm. I mean, delivering a finished good is one thing, but for you, it, it sounds more like the, the process and helping people understand how to start at the beginning and get to the end is as intriguing, if not more intriguing, than the actual completion of a film. It, it's absolutely as intriguing. Um, I, I kind of, you know, I'm, I'm like two-faced, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of 50-50 on it to where there's that part of me that just loves the process, loves talking about it, teaching it, being taught it, um, just that, that the whole gamut of looking at different ways of doing a thing and different processes of, you know, going about doing that thing, um, like our new Film Rights Epic Summer thing where it's three months of short films and then how we did them, so I'm the first month, Seth Worley is the second month, and Andrew Kramer is the final month, so month after month we're watching these totally different filmmakers do their thing and how they go about it. I love that stuff, seeing behind the camera. But I also absolutely love giving the audience an experience. That idea that you're creating something that someone's going to sit down and be hopefully be engrossed by, that they live inside this world for X amount of time. And uh, you're not just telling them the story, but you're giving them this emotional experience that they get to you know, forget about everything else for that period of time. Well, I just realized I was having so much fun talking about filmmaking, I forgot to ask if you've got anything new that you want people to know about. Uh, yeah, that uh, Film Riot Epic Summer uh, that I was just talking about is our latest project. Um, we just started it this month. My new short film, UFO Yeah, came out, uh, I think it was April 2nd. And uh, the idea is it's three straight months. First month, all of April, is all UFO Yes. Yeah. So my film come, came out. It's a five-minute short film, just sort of a fun uh, one-off sort of thing. And then it's a full month of how we did all these things. So you're kind of talking about that more high-end. But this is like high-end mixed with DIY. So I, I, <laughs> I got a DP for this one, and he's fantastic, does really high-end, incredible work. But he's also really practical. So we had like this, you know, eight thousand dollar HMI, and he's putting it to the side and pulling this like, a, uh, you know, Energizer lantern that I have <laughs> out. Uh, we we just turned the fan light on in the room for Phil, and then a DIY light bar that I built in my house for like fifty bucks. Meanwhile, we have fifteen thousand dollars worth of lighting just sitting to the side. So um, you know, it's it, that's something that I really love to do well is to show that yet yeah, even at the highest ends, they do some of the most practical things. You don't always need. You know, oftentimes you do, but you don't always need that. So it's a full month of how we did it, the VFX, everything that DP, the directing, everything that went into it. And then we move into May, which starts Seth Worley's short film at the beginning and then a whole month of how he did it. And then Andrew at, in uh, June. And Ryan, for people that want to learn more about how you did it, what website can they go visit? Uh, they could do filmriot.com or youtube.com forward slash filmriot. So that's all one word, Film Riot, F-I-L-M-R-I-O-T, filmriot.com. Ryan Connolly is the host and filmmaker of Film Riot, Ryan Delight. Thanks for joining us. Thanks today. a lot.